What's up, guys? Well, Bobby, in front right here. Obviously, congratulations on the victory. I guess, uh, how are you feeling after a performance like that against Jim Miller? Where y'all watching y'all TVs at? Where y'all TVs at? Okay, there we go. Is that shit still going? Yeah. It's a whole bunch of hugging right now? Uh, Jalen dropped him right at the end of the first round. I know that, but Hanato doing a lot of hugging, huh? Keep on hugging, Hanato. Keep it going. Uh, so what was your question? Uh, I guess, how's it feel to put on a performance like that against Jim Miller at UFC 300? Another day, another dollar, you know. I'll be excited if, if I hit that bonus, you know. If not, just another day at the office, you know. This is what I do. Ain't nothing changed but the day, you know. Um, I know everybody had me confused or count me out once you, you lose, you know. They switched opponents on me. How they now get ready for this six-foot tarantula. And I'm like, oh, well, I take them while they come. I jump on every opportunity. And, and sometimes you fall short, but as long as the shit is exciting. Well, we all know how tough Jim Miller is in there. It seems like you, you, you tried to put him away there at the end of the round, but he just kept getting up regardless of what was happening. So were you surprised that, you know, you weren't able to finish Jim Miller? Go down, fucker. You know? Shit. Um, be honest, I wasn't surprised. I expected him, you know? I was just like, see how much he could take. But I wasn't planning on stopping no time soon. I told him that, like, when we got in the second round, I was like, we just warming up. If you think you got hit in the first round, wait till we get to the third. And that was just the second. I'm like, watch this. And the third round, it got worse. I just turn up as the round go. I'm going to turn up more and more. I'll be holding back that first round, kind of like, see what you're doing. All right, I got you. And now I was going back to the corner. I was telling my coach, I'm like, listen, he's doing this, he's doing this. I'm, I'm going to get him to watch this, watch this. And we do what we do. It seems like he landed at least one or two clean shots in there in the commentary and said, like, oh, Bobby might be hurt by that one. Was there anything in there where you ever hurt at all in there? Um, he, he landed one good shot, I want to say second or third round. Second or third round. But everybody was like, the first round. I was like, nah, he just kind of caught me on one foot. And I'm like, oh, shoot, he hit me. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I was on one foot. I'm not really fucked up, you know? Uh, what did you say to him after? Because obviously it looks like you guys were talking a bit at the end after you raised his hand. Yeah, I told him, you know, we gave his freaking war. You know, you're a fucking savage. I'm honored to be here with you, and, and thank you for saying yes, not once, not twice, not three times, but four times when you could have said, hey, fuck that guy. And you, you obviously called out Patty Pimblett for this rumored Manchester card in July. Is that just because, like, we've heard you say, like, if you say my name once, like, you're on my radar. Is that simply Patty said your name and you want to fight him? Facts, facts, you know? Um, everybody's like, well, why'd you call Patty? Because he called me. He shouldn't have said my name. He should have kept it to those other guys. This guy right here will find you. And when, it, when I line it up and I get the sights right, you're going to pay dearly. Well, but obviously, when people talk about Paddy, they talk about the Jared fight and how maybe that was a robbery and then his performance against Tony Ferguson, he should have done better. What do you actually think of his skills as a fighter? I don't really watch Paddy like that. To be honest, I'm going to keep it real. I watched a Jared fight because Maybe I was just happened to be there sitting at the damn TV table, you know, but um, I don't watch his fights, so I really don't know much about the guy. I just see him doing this little thing. I'm like, who does that? Who does that? And I don't know, that's not cool to me, but besides that, I don't pay attention to the guy. Have you ever met him? No. Was there a UFC where you were sitting behind him? I remember you were filming him. Oh, oh yeah, but it said we never met. He was being a little vagina. He didn't want to look at me or, or give me the attention. So I'm gonna get your attention sooner or later. What will it be like to go over there and fight in front of his crowd and his Rorty fans and all that? Um, it would suck, you know, um, because you're giving every opportunity to him. I'm giving him everything. It's in your backyard with your people, all the opportunities stacked for you. Now, uh, now you gotta fight me and, and, and everything's going your way. I give it all to you. And I got the better number than you, so it's all in your favor. If you're you're like, oh, well, he was better. It's all in your favor now. Let's see how the chips fall. Hi, Bobby. Right here in front. I won't ask you how you're feeling. Don't worry. Um, but I, I... Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about you. I busted you so much about feelings, huh? Uh, don't worry about it. I, <laughs> um, I just was curious how, what you thought of the new gloves. If you've seen them, have you tested them? No, nah, no, nah, I haven't seen them or anything. That's going to be interesting, you know. I guess for me, that like... I've had some stupid eye pokes, so if it makes it better, cool. I don't give a fuck. Have you been able to see any of the pamphlets or anything about it? No. no. Well, hopefully you'll let us know how, you, how they are next time. Uh, yeah, I don't have any feelings on that. <laughs> hey, Bobby, back here. Got it way back there. Okay, there we go. I know, right? Sheesh. 
on the island. Uh, Bobby, congratulations. Uh, I was wondering, you know, talk about that fight with Patty. A uh, couple of these fights, you know, being the guy to spoil it for Tony Ferguson, maybe a lot of sentiment behind Jim Miller tonight. I mean, you've now had several of these fights. Mentally, what is it like where, let's be honest, you're kind of framed as the spoiler, the villain of the storyline. What's that like from you now having done it a few times? Um, there's a bit of jealousy, you know? Like, I wasn't even on the promo. I'm like, oh, okay, they didn't even put me on the promo. Like, and so it sucks. And then everybody's a Jim Miller fan. And so you got to go against all those different things. I just told myself, I'll make my marker, you know? When I get out there and they play my music, I start touching those fans, I show them nothing but love, you know? And love is the strongest thing that you can give somebody. Sooner or later, I'll make them my fans. And then uh, to talk about it, you know a lot of the men and women on this roster would have loved to be on UFC how did, how 300. Did they go to decision? Uh, no, nah, Morcano Mor stopped him. Ah! He's a fucking hugger. Hey, I'm guessing one by submission. No, he, he knocked him out. Oh, shit. Okay, hell yeah. Fuck it. Okay. Hey, Bobby, a lot of men and women would have loved to be on UFC 300. What did it mean to you that no matter what, they said, no, nah, this guy, he's getting a spot on the biggest card ever? Um, for me, like, I was just kept telling myself it's another day at the office. There's nothing changed. I felt like I wasn't, like I was being counted out in terms of attention, even though I was the favorite. Um, but at the same time, I'm honored, you know, that the fact that they found this poor little black kid and said, hey, you know, you get out there and you do your thing. You know, they picked me and they could have picked a thousand other guys that I thought were suitable for the card. I'm glad to be on, the, on that in those, in those terms. Bobby, back here. Also back here. What's going on, Bobby? Congratulations on the win. Uh, what is the secret to your longevity? You look as good as you ever did. Uh, and your first fight was 2008. I mean, and your first UFC fight was 2013. But you look as good as you ever did. What is your secret to your success and your longevity in the sport? Hit and not get hit. You know, that's a sweet science. Hit and not get hit. And that's very hard to do when you're standing right in front of a guy like, hey, what's up? Let's go. You know, I'm standing right here. I'm giving you every opportunity. And it's kind of risky because my coaches are all saying, don't do that. But I'm like, oh, nah, this guy fight at night type shit. So it's risky, but it's a, it's a crazy style to watch. And what is next for you? Who would you want to fight? What is next for, uh, for you? What is next for me is uh, Manchester. I'm going to be going out there and fighting Patty. Awesome. Thank you very much. Congrats, Bobby, on the win. You're just you're in Vegas, you won. That was an absolute amazing performance. Just in case you got those 300 bands, how would the celebration be this weekend? You don't want to know. You want to know? I'm going streaking. If I do, I'm going streaking. I'm going to go to jail. <laughs> I'll cash you when I get out. <laughs> Congrats on the win. Well done, sir. Cool. Am I good? Hell yeah. I'm going to go shower this blood off me. Oh.